One, it is a fact. Our economy is not doing well. It is also a fact that our economy did not stop doing well in the last one year. Our problems with our economic problems go back years during his regime. That is a fact of life that Uhuru Kenyatta will never run away from. It is a fact of life that state capture, corruption, and massive looting of our economy destroyed this economy. I've heard my former president saying that uh, there are people who are selling fear to him. Let me tell him, the last person of people to sell fear, their term in office ended last year in August. This administration has no business selling fear to anybody. By saying what is true, the truth, speaking truth to those who think nobody should ever speak truth to them, I spoke truth to Uhuru Kenyatta when I served as his chairman budget and appropriations. And I told him what he was doing for the economy wasn't good. He ended up threatening me and chasing me away. I will speak truth to Uhuru Kenyatta even today. I will tell him, Mr. President, Mr. Former President, please have no fear. Nobody is interested with you. But you're only interested in Kenyans knowing the truth. And my position on having a state capture commission on the state of our economy is a position I have taken based on information and knowledge of what has destroyed our economy. Because this economy has principally been destroyed by state capture. I would want Uhuru Kenyatta today to look Kenyans in the eye. Tell Kenyans that he did not deplete our foreign exchange reserves. I would want Uhuru Kenyatta to look Kenyans in the eye. Tell Kenyans whether he settled the over 60 billion shillings in fuel subsidies that he left in our debt books. Let Uhuru Kenyatta look Kenyans today in the eye and tell them the maize subsidy money owed to millers almost four to eight billion shillings he left in our debt books is propaganda or is a lie because figures speak <laughs> numbers talk and Uhuru Kenyatta cannot run away from his failures I have stated it before Uhuru Kenyatta was a tragedy to our country as a president and as a leader of this country he destroyed the economy therefore let him not tell us that we should not tell him or uh, point out where the problem is. We are cleaning up your mess, Mr. Kenyatta. As we clean up your mess, please give us peace to clean up your mess. We are not interested in what you did. What we are focusing on and what we have been focusing on is forging ahead and getting sustainable solutions. That is why we are not interested in the short-term knee-jerk populist position that our friends in Azimio have taken. Because they know they didn't work under Kenyatta's regime. In fact, those populist things were being done to win Kenyans to vote for them. Kenyans did not buy it. It will not work now after the election. We want sound macroeconomic policies that will transform our economy and make our economy